Welcome back to another edition of Inside the Fitting Room. I'm gonna get started with Forever 21. And I love this store. Uh, I decided to go out and try the summer, I guess like the new summer items. So this skirt was too short for me, unfortunately. Um, it was pretty freaking short. I know that it doesn't really look it, but you know, I have a bigger uh, butt and so it just barely went over my but and then this shirt is actually really cute it's a little bit big but I didn't mind that I uh, end up like it's a nice fun summer shirt so I ended up picking up the shirt but not the skirt unfortunately I know you can't tell here but I promise you guys it's really really freaking short super short okay so I really really liked this direct dress on the rack but on my body type it just does not fit me <sighs> I was really frustrated like the buttons are just too tight and um, yeah not much else to say about that even the belt itself so this was on a large I normally can fit in their larges but this one it just didn't really have room for my tummy and then these shorts I really liked. I actually almost bought these shorts, but the problem was is that again, like they're just a little bit too tight on my butt. And um, I have kind of a camel toe situation going, so I didn't really enjoy that. It's a size large. And then this top I ended up buying. I bought this top in a large, but you know, in retrospect, I should have sized down to either medium or small because it is really loose. But I'm going to be wearing this a lot in fall, definitely. I also had another pair of shorts like this that were very similar, so yeah, that's one of the reasons why I didn't buy them, other than the fact that they're just a little small. Okay, so this top, I really liked it on the rack, but unfortunately, it just is almost matronly. I mean, I know that that's kind of a weird, but yeah, it's um, pretty matronly, and I just didn't like it. Yeah, even tucked in. Okay, so this shirt is my favorite item that I tried on, and I snatched that up in a hot second. I love this shirt, and I've already worn it like 10 times. This shirt is just fantastic. And again, this is purchased in a size large. And then this shirt, um, I liked it, but I decided against it. It wasn't worth the money to me. I mean, it was fairly cheap, but even then, it wasn't worth it to me. It didn't have the same pizzazz, as you would say, as the black one. And it was just kind of a plain white crop top shirt. So yeah, I didn't purchase this one. Okay, so now this is going to be a massive Windsor dressing room. It's actually on two separate occasions. And um, yeah, I just decided to compile them all into one because it'd be kind of boring to like do two separate Windsor hauls. But okay, so let's get started. So this shirt is so cute. This is in a size large and um, it almost looks pornographic on me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of people like this. I do a lot of these like inside the fitting rooms on Snapchat and a lot of people were telling me to buy it and I did not buy it because this shirt, I would never wear out in public. It did not wear comfortable. So yeah, um, it's cute, but it's just not, yeah, I didn't buy it. <laughs> okay, so these, this top, these are actually two separate items. I'm going to go more into detail on this top on the next one, but these shorts, these were in an extra large. I love it when they have shorts in extra large because they fit me the best. But um, yeah, I bought these so fast. I was like, oh, these are definitely coming home with me. They are perfect, just a perfect pair of black summer shorts. I am in love with them. And I have worn them so many times since getting them. Okay, so this is why I decided to hold off on talking about the top because it's, a match it's actually a matching set. So the top and the shorts, uh, they you have to buy them separately, but they match together. And um, it's so cute, and I'm so glad. I definitely picked this up. I think it looks adorable. The shorts fit me so nicely. The top fits, and it's not a halter. It actually has sleeves on it, which I absolutely love. Or not a halter, I meant not a um, tube top. Okay, now on to the next one. I'll talk about this top in a second. But um, these shorts were in a size large, and I didn't buy them. They were not flattering. They were not comfortable. They were a really weird material. 
and yeah i mean they ended up like they're kind of like lounging track shorts but they're just awful i'm sorry i didn't like them at all okay so let's talk about the top and the shorts the shorts are actually in an extra large which normally they fit me really nicely but these ones gave me camel toe and they just didn't fit my butt correctly and the top is it just it is more of a tube top style and it just no i didn't like it so i didn't buy this one okay so i really liked this skirt but i just didn't think it was flattering i think it hit me at a weird angle and it kind of showed off too much of like my belly line which i know i shouldn't be embarrassed about it but i am so i didn't purchase that one all right so on to this one this outfit was so cute so cute oh okay edit that out this outfit is so cute but i didn't buy it because i don't foresee myself wearing it out in public like first of all the shorts are almost too comfy they're like more like pajama shirts and they're really see-through and then the top is just a little bit too small i mean it fits me nicely but it's too small for my taste and then i bought this dress because i can't i don't know if you can tell but i'm like obsessed with this color lately but i bought this dress it's it got like shorts underneath and then it's a high low and i just thought it was adorable and i used it recently in a photo shoot yeah and then this one is like a top and pants situation <sighs> i thought it looked super cute on the rack but it just doesn't look as good on me um the pants just the pants were such a no for me it's like a weird slit thing yeah i clearly did not like it at all <laughs> And then these shorts, these shorts are so cute and they fit me so nicely, but they're not really my style. And I never, like, I, could, I couldn't see myself actually wearing them. I feel like the skirt is almost too, uh, I feel like if it wasn't this particular shape, I would wear them more, more often. But yeah, I just, in this state, I just don't see myself wearing them, so I didn't buy them. And then this skirt, I fell in love with. I love with this color. I love this skirt. But I, this was a store in North Carolina, and I didn't have space to bring it back home. I might still go and pick it up at my, my local Windsor. But yeah, this was just freaking adorable. I'd have to hem it, of course, as I do for all my long skirts. But I can see myself wearing this. This dress, oh my god, this dress is so stunning. It's beautiful, but the problem is, is that the under slit is so short that I would be having to pull it down all day. It barely covers my butt, and I have to wear it. Like, you have to have an under skirt thing. Okay, um, this romper was cute. I liked it. It was actually on the discount rack, but it's so short. Like, you guys are definitely seeing my butt right there because yeah look at that it's so short it doesn't cover my butt and i can't wear that out in public not covering my butt i just can't <laughs> these shorts were really cute i actually did almost purchase them and i decided that if i didn't find anything else that i liked on this shopping trip i went to another store after this then i would buy the shorts they were 25 dollars. i thought that they were a little pricey for like what they were they were like really flimsy just simple pair of shorts and I just didn't see myself like justifying spending that money on that so I put a hold off and then I ended up not going back because I found some other stuff that I liked I love love this like tracksuit or whatever you call it but it's so see-through you guys and I could never wear this anywhere outside of my house and even then like I just I could see them ripping so fast they're so thin but so comfy <laughs> so comfy okay so this is a little bit um yeah you saw a lot of me there i want to show you that i couldn't actually try it on together because they're attached but um yeah this is like kind of like a swimsuit thing i don't know but i really like them they're really sparkly i didn't purchase because of the sheer amount of sparkles that were falling off the thing like i was covered in glitter Okay, so this is a store in Winston-Salem called uh, Altered State. I loved this store. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I tried on this set. I almost bought this. It was a little pricey for the items. I think they were like $25, $30 a piece. And $60 for a pair of shorts and a bralette just 
I couldn't I couldn't do it but I did end up buying this sh this shirt in a smaller size I bought this in a small I tried it on in a large it's just way too big and um, yeah I was willing to pay full price but it was on sale and I was such a surprise I loved it I also bought this one and I know this isn't my typical style but I just I really love this shirt and I could totally see it with like a pair of high-waisted pants so I, pur I purchased this one too. Okay, and that's my whole shopping trip. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to um, like and subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Pin Up and Fantasies. And on Snapchat, I am TRMT. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you again. Bye.